With gas prices nearing $4 a gallon, President Obama's top energy boss, Stephen Chu, took to Capitol Hill yesterday and defended his efforts in controlling the high prices. Listen. In an earlier hearing, you gave yourself an A minus. In weatherization, do you give yourself an A minus? Uh, actually, I do. Um, okay. In, uh, in uh, controlling the, uh, the cost of gasoline at the pump, do you give yourself an A minus? Well, we, the tools we have at our disposal are limited, but um, I would say I would give myself a little higher. Uh, Chu gave himself an A, as a matter of fact, but is that fair considering the high cost of gas? Fox News legal analyst Peter Johnson, Jr., PJJ, has a prescription for America. Are, okay, are you all, I know what you're going to say. Are we all laughing at home? I mean, is everyone I mean, wake up, America. I mean, no, yeah, A. And you know, it, got, it definitely so got a little Secretary Chu leads a very charmed life. He blew the BP uh, spill operation uh, big time. Uh, the government threw billions down the drain on crony capitalism for Solyndra and, and these other kind of phony investments involving uh, solar power. Gas at the pump has doubled almost $4, more than $4 in some places. Well, it was, and it was now he's giving himself an A. And now the latest yesterday is... The United States, instead of giving 20 to 30 percent duties on Chinese imports, we've heard Donald Trump talk about this, Chinese imports of solar cells and panels, they gave like 2 to 5 percent. Instead of protecting American industry in terms of solar power, they said, no, no, bring more of that, more of that Chinese product into the United States. So when Obama took office, uh, gas was at one eighty five, an average of about a dollar eighty five. Now it's three eighty six. Mm -hmm. What has he done right? Well, you know, he's a Nobel laureate. He's he's, he's a great Berkeley professor. He's, he should he, be going to Harvard he, he, with he, those grades. He's he, given he himself. seems like a nice person. He's is obviously smart, but he hasn't been uh, effective. And and the proof is in the pudding. The proof is in the weatherization program that had a tremendous amount of failures. The proof is losing billions of dollars. And the billions of dollars that we've lost hasn't done two things. It hasn't yielded new jobs in the sector nor has it made us less energy dependent. So we're spending billions of dollars on an industry that's not working out yet at this point, that will in the future, and at the same time the president laughs, laughs at the mantra, drill, baby, drill. So we're not effective here, and then we're going to bed over here, we're not building the Keystone Pipeline over there, yeah. and we're giving plaudits to say, no, I get an A. Well, I'd like you to tell that to anybody pulling up to any gas pump today, and I will be as well. I'll say, A, hey, what did you do to us here, Secretary Chu? A minus. Hey. Um, I don't know if you, got, if you got a chance to see this, you know, this hearing, but it did get I a did. bit contentious with Daryl Issa uh, and Chu. And, you know, Issa actually went on his Twitter. I love this, the fact that these guys have Twitters. Uh, and he calls Chu a hypocrite for leaving the hearing in an SUV. Now, okay. Am I the well, Secretary Chu, uh, and maybe we have the photo, that Secretary Chu responded that, in fact, it's a flex fuel SUV. So there. So, so, so it's really a, a, a green uh, SUV. It's 97 feet long, but it's a green um, SUV. Okay, well, there, when you there, have those green, you, you need a big one. He didn't show up in a smart car, right. that's for sure. Peter, Not great too to see smart you, sir. Good to see you.